I want you to ask one question. I have pretty friends, they are fans of the Formula One and say it's a sound, it's a cylinder. What is it about the electric race in Formula E? Well, a lot of people think it's going to be silent. It's not going to be silent. These cars actually make a fair bit of noise, but they make their own noise. It's very futuristic. It sounds a little bit like a jet engine going past. You've also got to remember that the Formula E series is intended to run in cities, in and around the roads, around the city area, not in racetracks around the world. So we'll have buildings very close to the racetrack themselves. So put 20 of these vehicles all in motor racing trim, running at speed against each other. They have their own sound, it's very unique. You'll then get the reverberation of that sound in the city area. It's going to be exciting. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic sound actually. I've heard these things run now at such speed and you know they are, a lot of people describe them like the Millennium Falcon, like the Jetsons, you know it's, it's a whoosh of noise. Good morning, my name is Graham Davis, you're Paul Conroy, I'm Vice President. Uh, Auckland is involved with the Formula E programme for a, a number of years. We're actually going to be their technology partner, providing technology guidance and advice on the whole series. It's all about interaction with the fan. Qualcomm's background is the mobile device. It's the handset, the smartphone, etc. Formula E want to get fans involved in the racing series. It's about bringing the electric vehicle to the streets to make it exciting for the, for the, for the drivers, make it exciting for the fans as well. So Qualcomm will be advising them on how they can bring the event experience to the handset, but also how they can improve the event experience for the, from the vehicle itself. So here we have the car itself. It's an FIA mandated car. It's going to be the same car that's used by all 10 teams around the, uh, around the 10 races throughout the world. We start in September this year and roll through to the middle of 2015. It's an all-electric vehicle. Um, it's pretty good, I think, don't you? Actually, is a, we won the world championship, you can say, this car. So it's four-wheel driven electric car, um, wheel hub motors in each wheel. We have 200 horsepower on this car, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.2 seconds. Um, 22 kilometers of, of range. And we always start in September with the project. We are a team of around 30 people. In the rear of the car we have our battery container, or our, our, our accumulator box, and we can just pull it out like a drawer. Um, it weighs around 50 kilograms and has a capacity or stored energy of 6.2 kilowatt hours. Car to, 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 to have more uh, 
energy or with the batteries. So this car can drive, we can drive at uh, 200 kilometers uh, with the car. And uh, but this car is really, really important to, 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 to use in the driving school. So this is a, a really easy car to drive uh, with an electric engine. So it's new and it's nice for, for, for customers to discover this car. Technologies in the UK, and we pioneer the use of motorsport to accelerate clean tech innovation. 